Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the rule will teach well, and salutations that I can preach the truth and the honesty and sincerity. All right, this is Brother Yeramla from the Men of Valor, South Carolina Upstate Camp, coming at you with a quick video. All right, going to that the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear, man. All right, you know, we got to conquer that spirit of fear. And once we conquer that, hey, man, you know, the, the Lord will open a lot of things to us, man. All right. So this is uh second Timothy chapter one, verse seven. It says, for Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So that's how we'll be able to obtain those things, man. All right. By not having the, the spirit of fear, you know, the fear, the fear of death, the fear of the things of this world, man. All right. You know, but we're going to receive power, man. All right. And of love. All right, you know, love from the Heavenly Father, man. You know, hey, man, you know, what's this true love being taken care of, you know, being being protected in the day of evil, the day of trouble. All right, you know, that evil day is nigh, man. All right, and it says, and of, and of a sound mind. So that's what we're striving to get, you know, a sound mind to, you know, be admonishing, all right, to, to be able to, to rebuke, you know, discern, to perceive situations and to judge, man. All right. Having a sound mind and righteousness, man. All right. To abound in the works of the Heavenly Father. All right. And, and remain and to remain upright. All right. Verse eight. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. So we cannot be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, man. We got to, you know, be out there openly. All right. Pushing the word, pushing the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. All right, we cannot be ashamed, man. All right, so it says, "Be thou, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Most High." So we're partaking in the afflictions, man. Yeah, we've been afflicted mentally, you know, most brothers physically. All right, but hey, we gotta be partakers of that because that's according to the gospel, the power of the Most High, man. We gotta go through that, go through things. All right, all right, this is our light affliction, man. All right, we almost out of here, man. We almost at the finish line. Yeah, we get worn out, you know, mentally. You know, getting drained. Hey, man, we got to keep pushing, man. All right. You know. So uh, let me get Matthews 10. Matthew 10. Verse 28. All right. So uh, this is verse 26. It says, fear them not. Therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness that speak ye in light and what ye hear in the ear that preach ye upon the housetops. All right. Verse 28. And fear not them which kill, of, kill, kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both the soul and body in hell. All right. So. Hey, man, you know, we're not supposed to fear, you know, we're not. Well, we should not. And we hope not to fear them which killeth the body, you know, which is man, you know, E in particular, man, coming down in Jacob's trouble, man. All right. Coming down with great wrath because, you know, they have a short time. So, you know, if we if we don't be in that spirit of fear, hey, that's how the Lord will be able, you know, to put that power within us, man. All right. You know, so that's why the Lord said, think not what to say when we brought up into council. All right. You know, and, and a lot of us, you know, is getting more rooted in the spirit of, you know, just just not uh, meditating and worrying about, you know, what's going to happen to us in that day, man. It's just whatever, you know, be the Lord's will. All right. Because, hey, we ready to get up out of here, ready for the kingdom, man. All right. You know, hey, Babylon is played out. So, hey, you said and it says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. So so don't fear, fear not, fear not of man. All right. But it says, but rather for him, which is able to destroy both the soul and the body in hell. And that's the most high. He's able to, to, to destroy your soul and body. All right. He the most high is the ultimate one to, to send forth judgment. All right. It's, it's the Lord that do those things, man. All right. The Lord is the one that send out judgment. All right. He the one that that, that allows, you know, the, the death angel or the spirit of death to come upon men and to judge men. You know, that's ultimately the most high's control. So we shouldn't, you know, no fear, man. All right. Or fear the things of this world. All right. 
you know, but hey, man, you know, we'll, we're going to further more tap into that the closer we get to the end, man. All right. So that's all I have today. All right. For right now. All right. The Lord did not give us the spirit of fear, man. All right. You know, so we should, you know, fear no man. All right. You know, yes, you know, uh, the men, the brothers that labor in is truth with us. You know, we, we hear their, their rebuke, their admonishment. All right. You know, we hear, you know, their righteous rebuke. All right. But that's for to get us right, man. All right. To put that fear of the Heavenly Father in us, man. That was just about, man. Being compelled, you know, uh, we compel men to to follow, you know, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. All right. You know, so that being said, Shalom.